it that you didn't have last year? Ooh, McDuffie. He's uh, he brings a lot of passion. Um, he brings a lot of leadership. Uh, you know, there's things that I really appreciate about Dylan McDuffie, and uh, you know the way that he carries himself, his routine on a daily basis. Um, he gets in here in the building early. Um, you know, and it's it's affecting the rest of the room. Those guys can see, hey, this is. This is his last year. Obviously, this is his last year. He wants to do everything he can to, to make it the best one, but uh, it's good for all those guys to be able to see how to operate, um, even when it's your last year. You know, uh, hopefully those same intangibles trickle down to the younger guys, um, you know, so that way they can see, hey, this is something that I need to be doing now, okay? I don't have very long before I step on the field. I need to get ready now. I need to prepare myself this way now. Uh, so that's, those are some things that I think Dylan brings to the room that are pretty unique in that way. Um, and the kid runs hard now. I mean, he, he runs extremely hard, and uh, that's something that we observed and, and, and knew we needed in the backfield. Uh, but we want to continue to have guys uh, that run that way. So, Considering health's been a question for this room in the past, does that make you feel more fortunate to have Dylan, someone with the experience he has in the room? Yeah, I mean, you know, at, at the end of the day, um, you know, we have to make sure that, you know, we, we got a stable going. Right, and, and we're going to do everything we can to, to make sure that that is that is happening. Um, you know, and so this room has been doing a really good job. Uh, you know, so far throughout camp, of taking care of themselves. Uh, you know, we we have mandatory things that we do. Uh, you know, after practice, from a recovery standpoint, uh, there's mandatory things that we do before practice, uh, and even throughout the day. And those guys take it off. They, you know, that's, that's I'm saying it's mandatory, but they're the one. They, they have set that for themselves. And it has been, it's been paying off for those guys tremendously. So I'm going to keep that rolling. Yeah, how are Daniel and Seve doing? They're doing good. They're doing good. Um, you know, they're, they're fighting, they're battling uh, each and every day, um, you know, to, to make sure that they are uh, embracing every opportunity that they get, you know, um, especially Daniel. Um, you know, he, he's gone through it now. You know, and he's one of the toughest kids in the room, you know, just in terms of what he's experienced physically. Um, you know, and he keeps coming back. So that's just a testament to how much he actually loves this game um, and everything that he, he brings to the table from that standpoint. So super, super proud of it. But also, too, uh, very fortunate to have a guy like him in the room that uh, keeps coming back every single day fired up uh, to be around. Do either of them have any limitations at this point? Or do you feel Say again? Do either of them have any limitations? No, we're, we're full go, man. We're full go, rock and roll. For Daniel, how close do you feel like he is to being back where he was in the he's start of the season? He's going every practice. He's taking it, every rep that's, that's been scripted for him, and, and he's going. So, like I said, we're rocking and rolling. How do you balance giving Devin sort of the opportunities that he commands with his skill set versus incorporating all those other guys on a regular basis? Yeah, I guess the way that we train our guys on a daily basis, uh, we, we train them in every aspect. Um, you know, so whether that's uh, – you know, carrying the football, making proper reads, uh, you know, catching the football, running routes, blocking on the perimeter and pass protection. I mean, literally every single thing that we train our guys to do, every guy's being trained the same way um, in that way. Um, now, there's some things that, that certain guys need more than others, and they take it upon themselves to get the, that extra work after practice, um, you know, but at the same time, you know, we're, we're training our guys to be all-purpose guys. We want them to be able to do everything, um, you know, and, and so – we're going to continue to do that, you know, as long as we can show and prove that we can do that in practice. Um, you know, we're going to continue to do those things. What have you seen from Johnny at running back? Yeah, Johnny. I mean, one thing that I love about Johnny, he's super coachable. He is super, super coachable. Um, I mean, even last night, late last night, he shot me a text asking about uh, some of the install that we had going in for today. Um, the kid loves ball. Um, he's super, super talented. Um, he's got really good contact balance. <clears throat> he runs hard, uh, but there's still moments where he, he looks like a freshman, like he just showed up, you know, and that's part of the process, um, you know. And so, uh, like I said, there's good things that he's doing for us, uh, you know, and it's only I think it's going to improve as he continues to take reps. So that confidence is building daily. So it's been good. Do, do you see, do you see those guys bring him along? I mean, I'm sure that's part of the room, part of the position, but do they do it? Differently, your, your veterans with, with a young guy like that? Yeah, I mean, even the parent teaching things that we've done over the summer. Um, you know, Deb is really taking him under his wing um, and, and just guiding him and leading him, uh, showing him how we do things, whether it's football related or off the field. 
Uh, you know, and so that relationship has been there for a long time, and uh, and then I think that Johnny is it's, it's paying off for him uh, because he is he is daily making improvements um, in a lot of different ways. Uh, you know, but at the same time, uh, there, there's things that we have to continue to get better at, um, even the older guys. Uh, you know, so that's you know, it's good to have older guys that that, that know what to do uh, and know what the expectation is to be able to pour into those younger guys. Um, you know, and, and guide them, you know, give them that instruction. You know, that's something that, uh, you know, Devin didn't necessarily have, right, when, when he got here. Um, you know, right away he was, he was the throne of the fire. Uh, you know, but for Johnny to have something like that, to be able to have some guys to look up to and learn from, that's, that's going to be super positive for our program. Um, in the back, in the running back room. So. Is that automatic, or do you, do you assign, hey, Dev, go, go work with this kid? I mean, or, or does that just come from them? You know, we, we like to give our guys the freedom to do those things on their own. Um, you know, now from, from that standpoint, that is something that I, I wanted to direct. Um, I did want Dev to, to, to kind of be that figure for Johnny. Uh, you know, but at the end of the day, those guys, when we get in the, in the classroom, they're all up there teaching each other. Um, even at practice, they're all teaching each other and showing each other different techniques. Um, so that's that's super positive to be able to see in the room is that they all work together. Um, and we're going to stay together in this room. Uh, no matter what's, what awards we may get and, and all those different things, those things don't, that they're great, right? And that comes from the team, right? That comes from the team, the, the things that we've done as a team, right? Our offensive line, our defense, our quarterbacks, our receivers, like everybody, special teams, it's everybody in this thing together. And as long as we continue to do that, those things that way, great things will continue to happen. Hey, Jonathan, with the weight room getting done and the locker room, and then more facilities coming. How much does that help you guys recruit and show people that what's being put in? The yeah, it's, it's tremendous. Um, you know, but at the same time, right? People want to see us win too, right? I mean, that's that, and that, and that, at the end of the day, that's something that we're still attacking, right? And, and the facilities in itself is phenomenal. And, and the, the beautiful part about all of it is we've all been small coaches, uh, small college coaches before, and being able to be in a place like this. And the resources that we have, we able, we, are, we know how to maximize every single resource that we have, um, and that's that's what's super super positive for our guys. It's not just things that we we go and show and all. Oh, we have this this cool you know equipment, but every single thing that we have in our program, we're utilizing, we're maximizing it, you know, on a daily basis. Um, and it's it's been super super positive for our guys, and um, even throughout camp, um, you know, the guys having that space back, their locker room back. Um, the bonds that they're able to make in that locker room. I mean, those are memories you, you, you keep with yourself throughout the rest of your life. Um, and that's what's, that's what's super awesome about, you know, being able to have a facility like this and everything that's coming uh, forward for us in this program. Have you continued to work with Torrey Lachlan at all in a running back capacity, or has he kind of primarily been working with the receivers this camp? Yeah, I mean, Torrey, is, is a, he, he's an all-around guy. I mean, there's, you've seen that in this past year. He can do a lot of different things, whether that's in the backfield, uh, whether that's out on the perimeter as a receiver, um, and we're going to continue to train him that way, right? I mean, he, that, that, he's shown that he can do that. He's, he's capable of doing those things. So we're going to continue to do that. Uh, we're going to continue to have those packages where he's, you know, in both spots. Uh, you know, so that's that's what's super positive about having a guy like Torrey uh, in the backfield and, and on the perimeter.